one month ago with the help of AI. Oh great, he said AI and it's only been two seconds into the video, come on. Geez, back to the story. One month ago, I posted a job application on Twitter and LinkedIn for a position I'm calling the taxologist. What's up with the title taxologist? Well, I thought it sounded a lot cooler than staff or tax preparer, kind of like how chief tax officer, which is my title, sounds a lot cooler than owner. Okay, back to the story. I put a job application out for a taxologist in hopes I would find someone to help me prepare tax returns and possibly help me with monthly accounting. And guess what? I found someone and they start next week. And that's why it's do or die for my firm. Because if you haven't seen my 2023 busy season breakdown video, I'm still working way too much from January to April. Shoot. I'm working too much throughout the whole year. Yes, it's my fault, I know. But I came to the realization, I have to make a hard decision this year. Hire someone or fire someone. <laughs> what? What? That doesn't make any sense. Meaning I can't reach my lifestyle goals without making changes with my workload. I want to pursue content creation more and that's near impossible without making major sacrifices to my current lifestyle. And I don't wanna sleep less or spend less time with my family just so I can add more work hours. I'm too lazy to work more than I already do. And I feel like that would destroy my already fragile mental health. So do I hire someone theoretically freeing up time I would otherwise have spent on preparing tax returns? Or do I fire someone as in clients? So I spend less time preparing tax returns? If I hire someone, well, I have to train them, pay them, and take time to review their work. So I'll end up working more hours and making less money on the front end in the hopes that I can work less on the back end and hopefully make just a little less money. Plus, it'd be really cool to give someone the opportunity that I was given to forge my own way in a firm should they choose that path. Helping someone develop skills that helps them advance in life seems really fulfilling and rewarding. Let's talk about option two, firing clients. If I fire clients, well, I free up time and make less money, but I will still be preparing a lot of tax returns and I'd love to move away from preparing a lot of tax returns. Don't get me wrong, I love preparing tax returns and all things tax and accounting, but I want to make more content. So I landed on hiring someone. I still may do some firing. And it's do or die, because if hiring someone doesn't help me with my lifestyle goals, then I may have to nuke everything. The great thing is, I'm the chief tax officer and can steer this ship wherever needed to meet my needs. The ship doesn't steer me, okay? Oh shoot, I gotta work on Bill's tax return after I make this video. Back to the story. It's a little dramatic to say it's do or die, but that's what it feels like. Lately, I've been letting the ship steer a little off course, and now it's time to course correct. Hiring someone is a major inflection point at my firm, and I'm super excited and blessed to be here. Stay tuned to see how it goes. And please go ahead and watch all of my other videos so I can get monetized before the end of 2023. Thank you for watching. Cheers.